A shopkeeper on Long Island used to open up her art studio to her community, offering free ceramic parties for the PTA, scouts, senior citizens. But with the pandemic, she is the one in need. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Massapequa on how this business owner's generosity is being repaid. I don't want to lose it. I worked 15 years to, to be here. Catherine Camisa has poured her heart into clay, kilns, and ceramics in her Massapequa shop. I have 30,000 molds in the basement that I slip cast, which is a dying art. It's all teetering on the brink of closure after being served with a huge lawsuit from her landlord, back rent, and his legal fees. It comes to $87,000 which I can't pay because I don't have any customers. COVID rules allow in just a few at a time instead of dozens working their crafts. That doesn't pay the bills. Catherine applied for a paycheck protection program funds denied because she has no employees. Eric Alexander of Long Island Main Street Alliance. We would encourage her and other businesses to uh, reapply to the SBA's PPP program uh, because they've changed the rules in some cases. Grants and loans are helpful, says Catherine, but what she needs, she says, is for occupancy restrictions to be eased. The mother of five, grandmother of three, says she and her customers miss each other. It's not always about doing ceramics in here. Sometimes it's the camaraderie. I've been coming for 15 years. Ceramics is, this is my therapy. Her fans, patrons, supporters surprised Catherine with generous donated baskets for auction and plan a virtual fundraiser for her shop next week. The community is coming together, so it's, it, feel, it makes us feel good. I'm really very lucky that so many people want to help. I'm blessed. Keeping her afloat through the pandemic. From Massapequa, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. For more information on the fundraiser, how you can help, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.